Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Mayhem Show bra wrap up something or other it's one of those kinds of nights it's mike sorg at sorgatron on the twitter here in the sorgatron media studio in pittsburgh pa with me is my compatriot in poughkeepsie new york he's the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the wwe he is mad mike so we're here to talk evolution right sorg yeah so the evolution <laughs> and there's no other show <laughs> yes um <laughs> it was monday night raw it was you guys were watching it we were watching it. Everybody watches because of what we do on Monday nights. But anyways, yeah. um, but I want to talk about Elias. I want to uh, talk about the women, but I want to talk about Elias. Uh, he's he's really good. He is really good. I told you. I I I still stand by my statement. This is the start of something very big. Oh yes. Um, I you know I I as he as going through the sequence and he's uh, serenading. Um, Baron Corbin uh, by his tour. Uh, I, you know, thinking about like just several weeks ago, this is the guy that got like the biggest heat reaction since Vicky Vicky Guerrero uh, to, several years ago. To be fair, that heat was the NBA's. <laughs> I guess so. That that heat belongs to David Stern, the then commissioner. Okay, the all right, sure, sure, but still, he still incited it. Oh yeah, but it's easy to do that. Yeah, it, wait, when you know what buttons to press, it's real easy to instill mm-hmm. that kind of riot. And speaking of angry Seattle, Tina is with us in the chat room, as well as our other friends, <laughs> Dave Potter from the Tiny Shutter Podcast, Alex Miller, who missed the show for a hockey game, so we have to be very diligent and let him know exactly what he missed. And Alex, you made correct life choices. He he made correct ones. Correct life choices. Correct life choices. I disagree. Yeah. Um, wrestling overall is my case. But anyways, uh, can we skip Raw and just talk about how awesome Evolution was? See, Potter's on the same page you were. That's exactly what Mad Mike asked me before the show. <laughs> to be fair, that's what Raw should have asked itself. <laughs> Raw should have said, hey, can we just skip Raw and talk about how great Evolution was? But nope, we're just going to put 10 people in the same match. Also, hashtag where's Ronda? Yeah. Mm, just that okay, I know I there, have I have countered you on this absence of Rhonda thing. Um but tonight, how the F do you not have Rhonda? Yep. Are we only allowed two UFC ish guys on the show in one night? Or uh, one of two? Yeah. Or or does this go does this go to my uh, uh not often publicized theory? That Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar are the same person. No, I've seen them in the same place. Shit. I mean, it wasn't at the same time, but still. Hmm. Um. Oh, Al- you know what, Alex? That's an excellent point. We're just going to talk about that. There's going to be a Lucha Underground Marathon starting at midnight on Wednesday. Hmm. So our- I think it's time to get that Slack demo again. The what? The Slack uh, free trial. So you just pop, so you just put El Rey on. You mean, the, uh, you mean sling? Sling, sling. Excuse me. Yes, sling. I'm just gonna buy it on iTunes. Let's be honest about this. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, no, no, good stuff. No, so Elias doing amazing things. Uh, and you were worried Elias, about it. Uh, spoiler alert, guys. Elias was the only part of Raw I enjoyed. Oh, spoiler good, alert. That's a good twenty minutes for you. Yeah, I know, right? You know what? I'm actually, I we only saw a little bit of it today. But I kind of like the Dean Ambrose persona right now, at least how it's coming off so far. It just seemed like they didn't even come up with a reason yet. Um, No, no, I, but th- th- I can see them just kind of rolling with this. But it, it's rolling back into that kind of John Moxley character that, that popularized him on the indies, the, the creepy guy, yeah. the weird guy. You know, like they're going to lean into it a bit more. Okay, and I mean, that's fine. You know, it's going to be okay, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, so, what's up with the tag titles? 
It was. It wasn't even addressed, was it? It was. It was like they asked the question. Mm-hmm. Nope. Answered. You can't go two qu- two weeks in a row asking a question like this. Seth didn't even bring him out. Yeah. Like, why? Why not just have Corbin come out and say, "Hey, Dean talked to me earlier. He said you guys are forfeiting the titles. That's a good decision." Yeah, that makes sense with everything else going on with him. Yeah. It, it, like, uh, <sighs> and and yes, uh, the, the the dissolution of 205 Live continues. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, a Lucha House no, Party yeah. making it. I, I feel bad for anyone left on that show who doesn't have a second home. Mm. My goodness. My goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am sorry. I'm fighting a cough from how awesome Evolution was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you were there. Shit. I, mean, I didn't even talk to you about that. I forgot you were at the, the venue. I was there. I made history, Sorg. You did make history representing made- women. Yes. Yes, which, I, 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 like, I like to think I was. Which, which women's T-shirt did you wear? I wore my iconic shirt. There you go, appropriate. Which, um, which, um the the last the 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 shirt I wear I wore to NXT Takeover was Jerry Gargano. Um, I, the shirt I wore to WrestleMania was Kevin Owens. I need to stop wearing shirts of people I like, Sorg. Hmm. It doesn't work out well for them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So basically, what I'm about to say is, someone find me a spin dial Bobby Lashley T-shirt. Ooh, oh man! If somebody can WWE shop that to him, care of Sorgatron Media. Oh, no, no, please do not. Please do not buy me a Lashley shirt. Please do not. We were talking about the four X Mojo Raleigh shirt that we that I gave Riz. Yesterday. Yeah. See, I'd wear the Mojo Raleigh shirt, though. There you go. 4X? No. You'd I swim mean, in that. You'd swim in uh, that. Yeah, I'd swim in that, and that's that's some swimming. And that's that's hilarious, because the Riz is, is tinier than both of us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so, uh, Sorg. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I want to roll back, because it's being asked by the chat room. Before okay. we get to the next thing. Um, uh, cause, uh, Tina, I think Tina was asking about what was going on. Uh, with, with that, uh, you know, is he tr- is he treading Y two J territory where he's just silent for a few weeks? And uh, Potter responds, "No, Tina, he was just being yelled at by Seth and just looked, <laughs> just looking uh, weird, angry." Uh, yeah, he did get a nice haircut, though. He did get a nice haircut. Yes, nice haircut. You can tell from the back. Mm-hmm. Nice haircut. Mm-hmm. Good lines. Good lines on Ambrose. Mm-hmm. He has some good lines there. Um, I also think this is very odd because. Uh, it sounded like we had a two-man booth during that segment. Oh, Renee did not say a word. I think that is interesting because I wonder. I wonder how they're going to play, and I didn't notice that she did I not say anything. Like I don't like it at all. This is not the first time mm-hmm. that she has stayed silent. Um, guys, if you're gonna have Renee in the booth, she's got to talk about this shit. That means. You're gonna have to write it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you, Renee just can't say, "Oh, I haven't really seen him." Yeah, yeah. You can't say that every week. You can't say I haven't seen my husband for a week. Um, She's that'd be, that's, gonna have to talk about him. Yeah. Like they did just, last week when they talked about the Roman Reigns stuff. Yeah, exactly. And and while while we're on commentary, um. Who the fuck told Corey Graves to change into almost bordering on shitty heel Michael Cole? Mm. Did you notice that, or is that just me? I uh, it didn't stick he out was, necessarily he was to me. Macro aggressive tonight. Really? Macro aggressive. Hmm. And I am not a fan of it. Hmm. I'm not like I get maybe they want a heel commentator. Mm, it doesn't work. It's part of the evolution. Uh, th- not, not that evolution, but I, I don't I know. There's, there's too many evolutions in WWE now. I don't, I'd argue there aren't any. <laughs> yeah. I'd argue there was one last night and one like two weeks ago on SmackDown, and that's about it. I, I thought we couldn't get uh, any more 
um, Cure Eye, yeah, then we did, uh, you know, whenever we're here in Pittsburgh and we get the Connors Cure um, um, uh, promotions, uh, e- even when they're not running it on on on, uh, on television, like we get to see them in the arena and, and everybody in Pittsburgh is, is just here in an arena weep um, every time they come to town. Uh, but the kids in the in the cancer center, I think it was in Dallas, um, yeah. having words of encouragement for Roman Reigns was Jesus Christ. I just I dissolved into a puddle of tears. Oh, geez. I just I I lost corporeal form and just dissolved into a puddle of salty tears. The, that oh god. Yeah. Wow. That was a piece. Jesus. Um, so I, I think uh, collectively, I think there was a little bit good going on here. I know you, because <laughs> I, I, I generally was, I thought it was a fine raw. I, I think I, I like it for what it was that there was some fun threads in there. Um, weird stuff for what's going on. Um, I, I and think we need to kind of talk about the invisible elephant in the room though. The invisible elephant in the room. Yeah. You know, the elephant that we know is there, but we just can't see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just, um, yeah, that John Cena guy. He's just not going to be around. Um, all right, now, Sword, we got a lot of guys on Raw, right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of guys. Mm-hmm. And, and a, number of, it, and a and, number of women, too. Well, I'm, ju- I'm just talking about this, this, this World Cup thing, okay? Um. There's a guy that we could have slid into this World Cup tournament real easily. Mm-hmm. Goes, he, he, his name rhymes with Shmeen Shmam Shrosh. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that guy. We could have done that. But instead, um, we chose the guy whose new catchphrase, per his manager, is looks like money and smells like money. That seems appropriate for where they're going. Maybe, maybe not the best optics. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe not the greatest choice, especially since Lashley is also injured. What? Lashley has a minor injury. Like from tonight or going into this? No, going into this. Oh, geez. Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, j- just an observation. Okay. Yeah. Um. Women. Let's talk about women. Let's talk about the ladies, Mike. Kind of some on TV tonight. Yes. Kind of. Yes. I love. We we're celebrating showing. the evolution of women and how they've come so far to be featured on shows, only to do the thing. That we did in the Divas era of throw ten of them in a match just to fit it all in. Lita should not be wrestling anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. Lita should not be wrestling anymore. Lita's my girl, but Lita, if you, Lita, if you're gonna wrestle, you have to train. Like a couple weeks ago, you guys were joking about we talking about practice. Maybe you guys actually should have practiced. No, I, I, Jay, I think uh, just to respond to the chat room, Jay, I think that. They're making uh, Leo Rush a really horrible version of Abraham Washington. Um, or Bill Alfonso. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I, I evolution was so good. It was really a great time. Mm-hmm. So how do we follow that up? A shit ton of picture stills Mm -hmm. and a five on five match that means literally nothing right literally it means nothing where everybody just won again where everyone just won again like and yes yes alex i know they said ronda versus becky s forever series that was gonna happen anyway because that's what they did last year champion versus champion Mm -hmm. and I mean, I guess this means they're actually going to have to have a finish at Crown Jewel. Because I personally don't think they're going to. I think they're going to do a ring implosion spot. That's just me. Um, I 
uh, I I don't I don't know. I I don't know what we're even doing. Like <laughs> like the Nia Jax and Tamina thing. Okay. They're really trying to get that to be something. It's and- not Tamina. I cannot think, cannot think of the last time Tamina won a match. Yeah. And granted, I know she was injured, but still, even before then, I cannot think of a just of a match that she has competed in and had her hand raised in victory. Hmm. I can't think of one. No, she's been a kind of a bit player or backup or somebody's bodyguard or something, right? Um, yeah. Hey, hey, this is this is something going into uh, what's going on coming up. Uh, depending on how things shake out here in the next couple weeks, if we do do a Raw versus SmackDown uh, Survivor Series again, you know what rematch we could end up with from last year's Survivor Series? Oh no, Lesnar versus AJ Styles. Oh no 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 no! I don't want that. Okay, do you want Lesnar versus Braun? I don't want that either. Okay, I don't. I don't want Lesnar. I don't want Lesnar. Give me, give me literally Braun versus anybody. Braun versus anybody. I don't care who it is. Ah, it could be Braun versus uh Daniel Bryan, maybe kind of, sort of. We'll see. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case either. Nope, nope. Anyways, anything else on Raw you want to touch on, sir? Uh, can we just talk about Elias some more? Yeah, so Elias, so good with the guitar, I'm guys. A, I mean, I'm trying to find when Tamina's last television victory was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Digging, uh, doing the research. This is what you, this right. is. This is your bag, man. It looks like it was uh, August 29th of last year against Tina Stock. Who? Um, exactly. She is a jobber. Okay. Um, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to look for her last singles victory against someone who's actually on the roster. And to do that, we have to go all the way back to February 8th, 2016. No, oh, jeez. Where she beat Becky Lynch. Now, I, she has been out with the injury for a good while. So she I has. Mean, take, take, I mean, you got to give her the last year, right? Okay, but it this was. She wasn't entirely uh, a force. This was 31 matches ago from last night. Okay. For her. All right. 31 matches ago. Okay. Not all of those singles matches, but mm. you know. But yeah, it goes back to the team bad versus PCB era. Oh, jeez. So, just so you know where we're coming from, Oof. that's where we're coming from. Oof. Yep. Oof. That was like the beginning of the evolution when everybody just popped up and had. And that. now we're at the end of it. And now we're. <laughs> and now we've come full circle. Yes, we certainly have. <laughs> Tamina is the alpha and the omega. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh jeez. I, I want to see something interesting happen with her, but I'm just not I, – I just don't think they it's, have it in them. It's, to, a, it's a placeholder. It is. It's a placeholder because, uh, spoiler alert, Naya's not getting that title match. Man, until the and I got that in my freaking head the whole time. Yep. Like I'm just like, Mike's going to mention that this is a placeholder and we're going to get Tamina and Naya until we get there. Yep. And maybe some ember thrown in. But, like, mm. if you're going to promote something, fucking tell us when it's going to happen. That's true. Don't, That's true. Don't, say a, don't say a future title shot. All right. All right, Mike, I'm going to bring this back around. How about when Elias uh, completely ditched, dis, ditched, uh, um, ditched Dana, uh, Brooke? Uh, Dana Brooke there? Yep. Nothing makes you more of a face than uh, dissing Dana Brooke. Yeah, apparently. Actually, there's only one more thing that makes you more of a face. Having Jinder Mahal randomly attack you. <laughs> I love that they brought up. Well, Jinder used to be in a band, you know. It's true. It's true. He he was he was the sexy one. Yeah, I'm lo- oh, I'm loving Corbin. I I also thought like at the beginning of the show when Corbin's wearing the WWE uh, 
universal title. I'm just like, yep, that's the only way you're holding that, buddy. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. Oh. And I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Sorg, I'm telling you, if nothing happens on Friday and we get some kind of screwy finish, I bet we have a triple threat somewhere down the line. Oh, uh, boy. We'll see. Oh. What the hell is that? What, what was coming in the frame over there? My my Lego <laughs> dragon. You, If you wonder why Mike's maybe a little more bitey, other than the fact that you saw Evolution and had, you know, maybe... And I don't like to hear the fallout from Evolution. Yeah. And get what? Uh... Nothing. Unre yeah, and he had unrealistic expectations for Raw tonight after witnessing <laughs> yeah, I, that. I had expectations, not even unrealistic ones. Oh, man. I to see the Raw Women's Champion on the show. Perhaps tomorrow I will reveal the thing that happened on, on uh, the women's show that made my wife pissed. Ooh. Audibly, no, you don't do that. Oh, was it something I would have noticed live, or was it commentary? No, it was on commentary. Oh, okay, all right. I, I, I shouldn't have given commentary. you that much, but uh, it's nothing you would have seen. But uh, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll maybe bring it up on the show tomorrow. Uh, so, how much overall was watchable t tonight, aka how much uh, was Elias on the show? Uh, I'll I'll give I'll give the Ember and Nia. Stuff oh yeah, I like that too. Um, I'll say forty minutes. Forty minutes. Forty minutes. I'm going to fly this two is, hours. This is, down, this is down from two and a half hours, I said, last week. That's right. Uh, ooh. Wow. That, <laughs> wow. That's not even a curve. Um, it's it's almost as steep as the thought drop. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I, Whoa. I'm losing my voice. Whoa. <laughs> Free fall. Free fall. Uh, I am going a flat two hours. Um, nothing like I really hated or anything. I'm just, I am a little sad that the revival is just like in a Lucha house party, um, in general. And, and, and I was like, oh, hey, that's happening. But I also had other stuff I was looking at, but, um, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, let's see. Jinder on his, is on his way back down the card. Apparently. Well, he's been on that path. Uh, um, Jinder has been on that path. Since he lost the WWE title. You know, you just wait until we have a uh, big arena show in India, okay? See what hap happens then. Yeah, that's what Impact said, too. And oh. poor, poor Mahavali Shira never got that rub. No, 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 no. But, uh, but strangely, Scott Steiner was over down there, so. Was he on a pogo stick? No, I think that was pre-pogo stick. So. Uh, then I don't care. Ah, uh, that's true. Oh, uh, Mike. Hey, tomorrow we are scheduled to have uh, women's pro wrestler uh, London Ali joining us uh, to talk some. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just getting out of the corner of my eye is Mike with this damn Lego dragon. <laughs> um, London Ali, women's wrestling. Really awesome. Intergender. Uh, uh, she's going to be um, uh, with us, uh, scheduled to be here in studio. You can join us at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday night on Facebook Live. Uh, and geez, I, I can't even think what else is going on. It's such a weird week. Uh, I don't I don't know what the... We're going to talk about Evolution. We're going to have a lot of fun talking about it. So yeah, we are going to have a lot of fun talking about Evolution. Yes, and are, because I really enjoyed Evolution, yes. most of it. Yes, Evolution was really fantastic, and there's nothing else of importance happening this week in professional wrestling. Nope, not... Well, no. Uh, not, wait, wait, wait. Oh, except, oh, except... Oh, oh, hold, hold, hold. Ultima Lucha Quattro begins that's yes. right that's right there are two oh, important oh. things happening in wrestling this week two so important. that's it um i uh uh I, i've been meaning to tweet this but i think i'm going to make a statement right here mike if you yeah. don't mind um obviously we're kind of dancing around something because of our personal professional um um thoughts and feelings on a subject and um i think we're going to tell you what's good and and i feel like we've always tried to do that here and uh, in the absence of maybe not talking about one or two things, I'm hoping to bring you guys some more uh, alternative things because um, WWE is not the end-all be-all here. And I think we need to surface that more. I think we've been doing good with it with talking about All In, Ring of Honor, uh, Impact Wrestling, and talking with the guys from those, including Shane Taylor on Indie Mayhem show recently. Um, so that's, that's kind of um, a little bit of a promise to you guys that we're going to uh, uh, try to continue to keep a – Relatively positive, as well as we can on Monday nights with Mike. Uh, <laughs> with Ron. Okay, with Ron in general. Let's just, I'm not going to blame Mike on this one. Me being negative is my gimmick. That is true. But but generally, we like to have fun with it. 
Yo, of course, absolutely. <laughs> so either way, there's a lot going on, a lot that we're going to be talking about, and uh, I hope you guys uh, continue listening to the show to have fun uh, with this uh, crazy, weird thing that is professional wrestling. Uh, so uh, with that, I hope you guys join us 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, we had an interview with Sean Phoenix um, on f- Sunday. It will be up on podcasts and all the formats, but you can check out the Raw Live over on the IndieWrestling.us um, page. It's the Indie Mayhem show coming up Thursday uh, on all the rest of the outlets. Um, and uh, officially, his live numbers beat Team Storm. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Org. And, yes. So you, that man needs to heal. You cannot send angry Canadians after him. Oh, it's okay. Jackson already broke his computer. How very Canada. That is very. Yeah, I don't. Is it okay? Did he say sorry afterwards, or did he say sorry? I I don't know. I I should respond to his tweet. Um, I hope he said sorry, yes. and then bought it, and then bought him a Timmy Holes. Bought him a couple of Timbits. You know, Jack Pollock, you know, the IWC um, went up to Canada for Greektown this, on Thursday, and including uh, Jack Pollock and taking a picture in front of a, a, Tim, a Timmy Hose up there. Well, I was, I, was in, I was in Canada earlier this year, so I, I can talk like this. <laughs> yes, that's what gives you a license. <laughs> what are they going to do? Just apologize at me? Yes. <laughs> Sorg? I'm sorry you talked that way. And uh, I gotta tell you, Timbits are delicious when they they're are. fresh. They are amazing. when they're fresh. You gotta get the fresh Timbits. You can't get them when they're just sitting out. You gotta get them when they're fresh. I'm telling you, it's Jim, Joe Dombrowski gets Canadian. I feel book. like if I called myself the Champel talking Canadian, I'd end up being Becky Lynch. <laughs> A little bit. I was going through <laughs> McIntyre, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. Guys, thank you so much, Mad Mike Fairy Day Three on the Twitter. I'm at Sorgatron. Until next time, please, everybody out there, uh, be safe and keep it raw. Sorry, not sorry, eh? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time, then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.